And clearly a tough defensive fourth inning for Aaron Hicks. You then substituted Estevan Florial for him in the fifth inning. Was that strictly performance-based, or was there more to it than that? No, I just felt like I needed to get him out of there at that point, so it was just the decision I made at that point. Based on the missed catches or, or more? Just, yeah, I just felt like it was, you know, I just felt like it was all just a big fa uh, factor, and I just felt like I needed to do it at that moment in time. Do you feel like you've kind of lost him a little bit mentally? I mean, he had his head against the wall after the one. He looked pretty devastated, obviously, after the second one. That was a, a tough I mean, the step. second one's a really tough one. And the first one, I, I thought he got a pretty good jump on and ran it down. And, yeah, I mean, it's not a – yeah, it's disappointment. You know, so there's a level of, like, feeling feeling for him there. And But, um, you know, I just, I just felt like at that time I needed to make a change. Eric? Aaron, how much of a contributing factor is the, the crowd reaction to those plays? Uh, I, you want to get them out of the spotlight. of you know, Right. The, the, I mean, I, I guess it's all part of the baked into why I made the decision, you know, feeling like, you know, it was having an effect, and I just felt like I needed to do it. Brendan. How, how was he when you pulled him? Uh, was he... Like what, what were his spirits at the time? I mean, he came in, you know, because I, I told him pretty much right away. And, you know, so he was pretty frustrated and, you know, uh, upset. And um, you know, there wasn't a lot of conversation about it yet. Is this one of those things where you have to get him back in there tomorrow to? to, uh, to, to no, not necessarily. No, it? no. We'll just got to keep keep working. You got to you got to fight through this. Andy. So your decision to pull him out of the game, was that a punitive or not? No. Okay. It was more about he wasn't in a headspace to play? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? So what did you see from the lineup tonight against Rasmussen? Yeah. Um, you know, threw a lot of hits out there. We we had some chances. Um you know, obviously didn't didn't do a lot of damage against him. Obviously, um, I thought he threw the ball really well. I, I mean, I thought his cutter was was terrific tonight to to righties and lefties. Um, I thought his stuff was good. Um, you know, we we I, I thought we were competitive against him, made him work, um, but just you know couldn't do enough against him. But I think that was I thought he threw the ball really well. Meredith, what'd you think of Montas? Yeah, I thought he battled really well. I mean, he deserved a better fate. You know, I thought, you know, to make some plays behind him. Um, you know, I, I didn't think he really had a splitter going early. So, but I thought he competed really well and, and you know, got into a decent rhythm there later and started executing. Um, so I, th I thought it was, you know, I thought he gave us a, a solid performance based on maybe not having his best up and not having a split, especially early. You had said before the game that there was no new news on Anthony Rizzo, but you might have something later. Is there anything yeah, additional? I, I don't. I'm sorry. Susan. Um, with Montas, he did so well against them last week. Did they attack him dif differently, or was Montas's stuff just a little different? Well, again, I, I think he's really close to going six innings and giving up a run, you know. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, I, I think maybe we don't complete some plays that extend some innings there. Um and it, and I don't think he had his split, you know, which which he had a little bit of everything. And I thought he had a really good splitter in, down in, uh, t in where we are playing in Tampa. Um, you know, tonight I don't think he had that, but he kind of competed with what he had. You know, and then he, he did throw some good splits at different points in the game. But, you know, last week in Florida he had, he had a little bit of everything going. Lindsay. Aaron, you, you said the other day after having a conversation with a player – uh, that you you know it, you needed to address the play, but you didn't have concerns about his level of hustle or gamer. Do you is that what you are seeing from Aaron Hicks when addressing him in this situation? Is that what I, I don't follow? I think that was a really bad attempt to ask that question. But you you said with Donaldson the other day that when you spoke with him, you said you right. know you got to make sure on that play. But yeah, this is different. Brendan. Did uh, Aaron communicate to you that he thought the ball might have been foul? Is that why why he stopped? Oh yeah, I think he definitely thought it foul. It's not, it was not a punishment. Just clear. I mean, I, I think I've answered this. I think we got it by now. 
just clarifying yeah. the play. Yeah. It was not a punishment. 